Today's Dorian's release is quarter four and full year results for 2023. I have the pleasure of being here with our president and CEO, Hans Solström. Hans, what are your thoughts and reflections on the results? In Q4, we face continuous challenging market conditions for most of our business segments. As a result, our year-on-year -year sales and operational EBIT were down significantly. All our divisions, ex except for the forest division, were affected by the market headwinds. This especially impacted our packaging and wood products divisions, with low demand and, as a result, lower sales prices. However, if we compare with the previous quarter, sales remain on similar levels and operational EBIT is up by 30 million euros. Also, the valuation of our own forest assets increased by around 5% to 8.7 billion euros, which is equivalent to 11 euros per share. It's another tough quarter, but we remain focused on measures to improve our profitability. Thank you, Hans. Uh, then what are some of these measures that we're taking to improve profitability? We focus our efforts on what we can control. As examples of these measures, we completed restructuring actions that will increase our annual operational EBIT with about 110 million euros. We also achieved a significant working capital reduction of 650 million euros from the peak in the beginning of 2023. This helps to generate cash flow, which is a key success factor. And today we announced a new profit improvement program. The aim is a positive annual impact of around 80 million euros. Within this initiative, we plan to reduce the workforce with around 1,000 people across the whole company, but without production closures. Needless to say, employer reductions are always a last resort. But to remain competitive in a weak and uncertain market environment, we need to take bold decisions. It is hard for our colleagues but it's necessary for the group's long-term growth and success. Hans, how does this weak outlook affect our guidance for 2024? We expect market conditions to remain uncertain in 2024 with ongoing pressure on demand, prices and margins. However, we are encouraged by some positive signs such as rising pulp prices and lower inflation and interest rates. Despite ongoing market volatility, we are starting to see some signs of normalization. Given this and our commitment to cost reductions and growth initiatives, we expect a higher operational EBIT in 2024 than in 2023. Thank you very much, Hans. Uh, thanks everybody for watching and look forward to catching up again in Q1. Goodbye.